Hello everybody, welcome back to Motorsport Manager. It's time for our 2020 season ending montage, coronation of victory, whatever you want to call it. And it was going really well until I misjudged the weather just a bit in qualifying. About halfway through our qualifying laps, which were going quite well, Menezes looked primed for a pole position, and then the rain came. Misjudged it by about a minute, and it cost us. You can see we're at the back of the field, and guess who's in front? Our former reserve driver, Nico Kari, and Tomzik right behind RMG, holding all the cards there. So, we're going to have rain to start the race, even though the forecast said we wouldn't. And as far as we can tell, it's going to last, could last the whole race, at least most of it. So we're going to go with Inters. Everybody's going with Inters to begin. And we're going to go with Race, Trim, and the Nurse. You can see our bonuses here. We were angling for Super Softs. We're going to uh, go with the Nurse and the Race Trim for Cairoli, so we can drive a little harder. Menezes race trim and why not use the enters bonus because we're gonna be using them for at least half the race possibly longer so and I'm not planning I'm planning on being not pushing the enters super hard until we know what's going to happen with them I'm sort of gonna to try to split the difference on that we're obviously gonna have a lot of ground to make up our setups are great and let's go with well we're gonna keep all the fuel for you Let's drop off that one lap for Menezes. Of course, we still don't have the full gearboxes out. I did balance out the parts so that both drivers would be equally happy, and we do have the second brake out there. So we're working on gearbox, and that's the only thing that's left. So I'm just going to go with push on the tires at first. It's going to be pretty warm. I probably won't even be able to get away with that for very long. And they're gonna they're actually gonna warm up anyway I'm just gonna probably do a lap of push and then back off on the tires it's a fairly long track about a two minute track with 44 laps so let's take a look at the start here in Rio Akari and Tomzik both at 10 out in front so yeah we've, we've got excellent uh, driving form ourselves but to say that we've got a lot to do is an understatement. The view is blocked to begin, but both drivers looking very good. And we'll get the start rolling. Hanging out in 23rd and 24th, and it was dry right at the beginning, but then going to some rain almost immediately. Again, everybody starting on enters. There's a nice, oh, there's a turnout there. Somebody went wide. That was Antonio Felix da Costa it tells us. So 20th and 21st now. And you can see the tires warming up pretty good. Another nice slide to the inside. This one is not going to be so kind. 19th and 21st. We have moved up some, but of course a great deal of work remains. And wrong side of that turn as well. 20th and 21st, although Cairoli may get this spot back. He's working on DuPont. Wow, yeah, that tires went up quickly. So we're going to back off to neutral, and then we're going to have to go conserve soon. Let's get an update on the weather. Still going to rain as far as we can go. Nineteenth and twentieth. Caroli says it can't get past DuPont as he makes a move to get past DuPont, but I don't think he's going to hold it. Well, there's DuPont sliding up a couple spots. Both of our drivers battling, so we're going to have a journey here. And you can see we're about nine seconds already off the leaders. Tomzik in first. Kari has slipped all the way back to fifth, so probably not worthy of the pole there. And boy, the tire temperature isn't going up much now. So we may be able to stay on neutral for a while. 
be nice if we could do that. The fuel burn's pretty low on this track, so I'm going to stick on for probably a lap, lap or two. I'll stick on high with Menezes, and of course, longer than that for Cairoli, who's got the nurse ability. 17th and 18th. Nine point seven Cairoli and Menezes driving well. Of course, he has the better abilities. It looks like he's about to make the pass. Or maybe not. So again, we've moved up a few spots. A lot of work to do. We'll come back and check in a little bit later on in the race. Okay, midway through the race, and it's time for our first pit stop. Cairoli is just pushed, may, might be able to hold off, Spengler might not. Uh, Menezes is back here in 10th. We've basically, we've gradually moved up, been using our speed burst to pass more cars every few laps. Just verging into the top 10. Nobody's catching Tomzik, and some of the other cars probably out of our reach. But we are moving up some. We're almost through the full pack of traffic that slowed us down quite a bit. But, again, halfway through the race, so it's time to pit. You can see the rain's going to stop for a bit, but then it's going to restart again. So we're pretty much going with rain the whole rest of the way. So I'm going to... Nope, that's the wrong one. Let's get Menezes in there first. And Cairoli on the next lap. And we've been able to go neutral on the tires most of the time, conserving a bit when just we need to get the tire temperature down, but that's temporary. And this turn here, it never works out. It's actually always worse to go for that move, but it's done repeatedly. Yeah, repeated, repeatedly. Enunciate. Anyway. And basically got the same deal here. So, yeah. During this part of the track, uh, passes are pretty rare, but it's the big straightaway up here where it tends to happen a little more often. And Cairoli, well, you can go ahead and burn the tires. doesn't matter because you're coming in for the next lap. And you can go ahead and set up your pit stop. Only be one for each driver here. We've burned off all the fuel we really can. So it's only about the pit stop at this point. Yes, they screw up on the jack. See how long that costs us. Okay, less than a second. Uh, not the end of the world. If you're going to have a mistake, I'd rather have that kind of mistake than a four or five second one. Now, Cairoli holding on in seventh. And you can see Menezes all the way at the back, several seconds behind the other cars. And he'll just kind of... Be happy to stay back there and burn through. And the thing is, he won't be slowed down by traffic. You see Cairoli a few seconds behind Toramon, so he's not being slowed down by traffic either. But still best to get him back in pit stop and get on fresh tires. And the idea is we're pitting a little bit before some of the other drivers, but if we get on fresh tires, we should be faster than them at least to an extent. And then we hopefully can, you know, when they when they pit, maybe we'll have enough speed to go by them. Maybe not. We'll see. Good job on the jack work. I believe that's our fastest yet, 10.032. By the way, um, oh, nope. We did. We've got a loose wheel nut. What does that mean? Doesn't seem to have hurt us. It didn't give us a time. Okay, he's out in 23rd. He's still ahead of Menezes by a couple seconds. And we're looking pretty good in terms of that. We did hire a new pit crew, is what I was going to get into. We now have 20 across the board on every single aspect. 
And so we'll use the speed burst where we can. Cairoli already right behind De Silvestro. We'll want to move up through the pack again. And I'll come back around the finish of the race to see how we did. Okay, so this is totally new. The loose wheel nut thing. Uh, Cairoli had my tire is missing. It's gone. Thing that came in. And all of a sudden, he's like totally in trouble here. I wonder if I can just, can I just pit again with different tires? Tire choice locked, loose wheel nut. Okay, yeah, no, I mean, I just, obviously that's a thing that can happen when you're racing, but I've, I've never seen this before. Okay, so let's slow down. And that's going to make this an even more horrible race for us. See if he can limp around the track. There he goes. See the sparks flying there and everything. So yeah, that's obviously an enormous mistake. So he's going to be way behind everybody and a lot of work to do now. He's not going to be pleased and you can't really blame him. So let's see what kind of recovery we can make out of that. Obviously, Meneza is the only one with a real chance to move up now and he's not driving nearly as well as is Cairoli. All right, working our way towards the end. Cairoli, as you can see, 21st. Hasn't really been able to do a whole lot. He has passed a few cars recently. But that whole mishap with the wheel just put him so far behind the eight ball. Very unfortunate. He's going to be ticked at the end of this race. And he's got every right to be. Now, Menezes was up to about six seconds behind Wickens. But overall has been slowly tracking him down. He was fading away for a while, going up from four to six. But now he's been catching up and we've got uh, three laps to go here gonna be coming up on two here in a moment a little bit longer than I thought we still got a good portion of this lap to go but I think that he might be able to sneak his way past Wickens into seven so there's still some life left in that again not that it matters that much we're getting our butts kicked in this one Tomzik first you can see, yeah, we only get four points, so RMG is going to make up some big ground here. Fortunately for us, of course, it does not really matter at this stage. Now let's back off here. So a couple laps to go now. You can see this gap getting down even a little bit lower. And I'm going to do a speed burst on each of these last two laps and see if we can make anything happen here. I don't want to use too much of it here. Let's go down to about there and then do one more. So we're down to about 1.1. Nothing going on with Cairo. He's about three seconds back of Spengler. He's going to stick in 21st. So it's all about Menezes. He's got about a lap and a half to try to make this happen. Let's go neutral, try to do a little better job on these turns. Stay as close as we can for that final burst. I'd like to get a little closer. But instead it's going the other direction. Well that tightened up a bit. Nice set of turns here, at least decent. Of course, the gearbox coming out of these turns is the weak part of the car. And almost up to two seconds again. And he's almost out of fuel, too. I don't think he's going to have quite enough fuel to finish. So this probably isn't going to happen. No. No, I wasn't that wasn't nearly enough. I needed a lot more than that. We'll switch to low. Let's try to at least get around the track. 
speed this up a bit. So as it is, we're stuck in 8th and 21st. Use that last little burst, which isn't going to matter. And there it is. Unhappy with that. What's Cairoli going to say? Let's see what kind of fit he throws. Yep. And Tomzik wins for TMRMG. But we're still headed to the title. Still, I'd like to finish off the season a lot better than this. Clearly, this is our worst race of the year. And only some of it self-inflicted. Well, next up we have Dubai, 11th race of the year, and everything went wrong in the last race for qualifying, went right this time, and as is easily getting on pole, Cairoli back in the third row in fifth, so we're looking very strong for this one, we've got good form for both drivers, Cairoli got uh, the first gearbox that was finished. And, of course, Dubai is a dry track, and it's also one of the longest. It's going to be over two and a half miles, or two and a half uh, minutes per lap. Now, we do have a possibility here. I've actually knocked out one lap of fuel for each of the drivers. For the practice session, we only were able to get the race stuff in, so we actually weren't even, we didn't have any qualifying bonuses. So to get this well is excellent. But we're doing the race trim and the soft tires. And I expect to be able to go through just barely. But it's a 36 lap track and our, we're rated at 37 to 39. So I'm going to be careful with the tires. We may slide back a bit here at the start. But we're going to do the whole race without a single pit stop from either driver if possible. Nice start from Menezes. Cairoli struggling a bit though back in 6th see if he can fight his way forward and of course the other cars are going to be bringing their tires more and they're on faster tires so we just want to survive the start without losing too many spots Cairoli back up to fifth now and then you know we're only going to be able to go maybe a couple laps at most on the accelerated fuel On the other hand, it's supposed to be 20 degrees all race long, and that's what it's looking at right now. That's a great temperature for soft tires. So we're just looking to run steady and solid all the way through. And as the majority of the other tire yeah, cars pit, pick up their positions, so on and so forth. Menezes is not pulling away, but neither is he losing a whole lot of ground. The Taurus has moved up past Glock, though, and may be gradually gaining on us. Still holds that first lap lead. Cairoli still in fifth. Right behind uh, Tomzik has opened up a nice gap on the ones behind, but unable to make any progress here so far. You can see that tire temperature just holding right where it is. So that's totally fine with us. We're just going to keep trying to ride those all the way there. Let's see where those tires look on Menezes at the end of this lap. That's going to be very telling as to whether we're actually going to be able to make this work on one, one stint for both drivers. And Vitoris definitely hanging out right behind Menezes, the rest of the drivers not keeping pace. So he's clearly the primary challenge to try and hold off here for as long as possible. I 
think I can go down about 1.7 on the fuel. So we're getting close to it here. Switch to high for a brief period here. And then we'll go to medium. And let's call it there. Probably went a little bit far on Cairo. He should be pretty close. He's up to 9.2. And really hanging out on the back of Tomzik there. Would like to make a run. But it's not working out for him just yet. Might be time for actually a good early push here. Once we get around these turns. See if he can hold that pass or not. Looks like he's got it. So that was just barely pulled off. But if Cairoli can hang on to fourth, obviously that's a nice little boost for us. And Menezes is pulling away. So first and fourth, we're looking very strong at the moment. I'll come back about halfway through the race and update our progress. Okay, we're almost halfway through the race. They're just starting to pit. We just had Kari come in. And one of the most amusing things about this is we're sitting at 10.0 for both drivers. That hasn't been the case most of the time. They've mostly been in the 8 to 9 range, which is still spectacular. But now as we come around here, I'm going to try to get by Glock here into third. But I just, I've, yeah, he did a counterburst. I have not been able to, like, I've been gradually pulling away from Tomzik behind. Haven't quite been able to get by. I may give this another shot on the next lap as we come around. I'm eventually going to pass them anyway when they pit. I'm just trying to do it sooner if I can. And, of course, Menezes gradually pulling away. 12-second lead. It looks like he's a sure thing to be wire to wire. The only question is when does Kai really get up to second, really? I don't see any way that we don't take the top two spots. I have backed off the tires a little bit. Just got the temperature down. It's holding right there as we stay neutral. You see the temperature is going to go up a little bit later. We might be able to conserve a bit more. Those are going to get down to about 10% to 12%, I think, by the end of the race. They're going to be well into the red zone. But we're going to be far enough ahead of everybody else that, frankly, I don't think it's going to matter. And then fuel is right on the line and we'll have slightly extra. So all of those management things, they're all sitting really perfectly. This track is just laid out great for our abilities with the tire and the fuel. And we're simply waiting for, you know, the end of it here. I'm going to give this one more shot. Yeah, and we just don't, we don't have quite enough. But we've been able to stay close behind, so let's wait for them to pit. And then Cairoli will move by. I'll come back for the final lap or two, which should just be a coronation at this point. So here's the final lap for Menezes. Wire to wire. Cairoli easily in second. For about five or six laps now, we've been in the red zone on the tires. See, they're getting pretty low. A little bit positive on the fuel. Tire temperature is still right where it is. It never got above 21 degrees. This has just been such a perfect storm of a race. Only Vitoris and Glock even within a minute. And even with the tires running down, we still have not had any problems. Like, they haven't even been gaining on us. At best, they've been keeping even, and that's just the last couple of laps. So really, it could not have gone more perfect here. And... It's kind of amusing to me because this would be a fitting finale, but we've got one more race to go. Either way, we are absolutely stomping everybody. You can see by our standings here. Definitely essentially reversing the problems that we had in the last race. Nobody else doing particularly well. You know, solid performance by RMG and a couple others. But our lead extends back further 
after laying an egg last time out. And we'll come around the final turn here. Nine percent left on the tires. Go ahead and celebrate, and you can go around a couple turns before Cairoli even finishes himself. Twenty some seconds back, yeah, you can see like Vitoris, and them finally making some ground there on that last lap. But uh, you know, it's too late now. This one is over. Now I just had to take a gratuitous shot of this for posterity. Eight point eight driver form. 9.3, and we get back the nurse ability for Cairoli, but I, that is astonishingly high. And, uh, yeah, just a absolutely near to perfect as you can get day at Dubai for the Timex Racing. And then we've got this little bit from the mechanic. Actually, we didn't even perform a single pit stop during the last race. That's a very interesting strategy, boss, but the pit crew did seem to get tired of sitting around all weekend. I think I saw a few of them playing cards, and some of them had a nap. Oh well, on to the next race. So a little bit of humor from our mechanic about the fact that for the first time ever, we did not even stop into pit row once. Now we're heading into our first pit stop of the race. Menezes is going to stop at lap 18, lap 36. Now let's speed him up a little bit here. And we're going to stop at 27 right in the middle for Cairoli. You can see Cairoli still up there. Menezes had some problems with Spengler. They were quite close for about eight or nine laps. But since then, it has gone much, much better. See how far he drops. Of course, he's got several seconds lead now on Spengler. Some of the others are going to have to pit soon. But he's still got some room. And I, you see I'm leading, letting his bar get almost full on energy. Because once he comes back out, I want to have the option of using those speed bursts to get through some traffic. Not a lot of great straightaways here, but the main straightaway by the finish line does have sufficient to use 30-35% of the boost and get going. Of course, it's a long pit row and we're out in seventh behind several cars that should pit soon. So that's really a good place to be. I'm happy with that placement. 
And as we move along, I'm sure Menezes should be able to move right back up to second before too much difficulty is had. And now at the halfway point, the expected pits have happened. Spengler is still just several seconds back of Menezes. And Cairoli is about to make his first and only stop. And a couple things I neglected to mention in the first part of this race. We did go through the first dozen laps on the higher fuel setting. And that's because we are got all now parts that have we have finished. So they're at, they were started at 90%. We've got plenty of reliability. All of that is working well for us. We're really able to burn the fuel. And the fuel is down now to where we wanted it. Let's boost Menezes up a bit here. The other thing is that overall our car is up to second, but it's a fairly distant second. RMG is ahead of us in most aspects. The other teams pretty much not. However, in this race, they're not doing too great. We got Tomzik in 12th and Kari all the way down here in 21st. So for whatever reason, they are not having the greatest of times. And of course, everybody else having pit already, Cairoli should lose very little, if anything, here. And Menezes coming up behind him there, but not catching him. And of course, Menezes still has to pit again. We'll back him off to neutral. And yeah, actually less than a second, but Cairoli does hold the lead. So ever since partway through the first lap through the end, he figures to maintain that. And of course, he's got plenty of energy, so he'll start burning some of that off. Mostly conserving on the tires to make them last, but I was able to push him a little bit towards the end so there's he doesn't quite need to go completely conservative on them but pretty close to that another handful laps and Menezes will come in for his final stop and only a horrible error there could prevent us from taking the top two position once again I believe and Menezes getting set now for that final pit stop for quite a while Spengler was catching him which was a little bit concerning. And his spot in finishing second is not assured. But he was down about six and a half on the form. Now he's back up to driving even better, 8.2. Cairoli, meanwhile, started around 4.5 or something. It was down to the low threes for a while. But he has picked up his driving and has been slowly pulling away. So it'll be interesting to see, of course, I didn't conserve quite as much as I've lot as I would like but I did conserve most of the battery bar here and be interesting to see how far Menezes drops he may have to work through a little more traffic this time may not get as fortunate as he did with the gaps he didn't have to use any speed bursts to pass anybody on his first stop Just over 10 seconds. Another fine job by the crew. No mistakes this final race. Good of them to do that. And just in front of Ericsson. Let's go ahead and, yeah, using the speed burst, let's go ahead and get on the tires there to try and hold that off. And so I imagine by the time he catches up to Glock and Spengler, it looks like their tires are getting low enough that they will have to make their final stop. You can see the gap here, seven and a half seconds. So as long as he manages to stay ahead of Ericsson, I don't see why not with fresher tires and using the power boost, Menezes should easily recapture that second position. So it looks like we're on a great glide path, glide path to the finish. And I'll come back at that point. And we'll take the final lap of the year here at regular speed. Due to fresher tires and driving better, Menezes has generally been in the 8 to 9 range over this final stint while Cairoli reverted to the somewhat slower driving he had at the beginning of the race. Menezes has been catching up a considerable amount of the distance. It was 33 second gap when he came out. He's erased almost 20 seconds of that. But of course, not enough. 
Uh, we had a Toramon went wide, so we actually lapped another car. So that's three cars that uh, were knocked off the lead lap by Matteo Cairoli. Nonetheless, he's going to have the win. It's a couple more turns to navigate around here. And the season will be over. Spengler, a respectable third place. Just tipping over 10 seconds behind Menezes at the end. He was almost fast enough to keep up with him, just not quite. There it is. Cairoli victory. And across comes Menezes in second. And we'll take a look at all the ending screens just so we can get the official confirmation of how things wrapped up. And there's our fine performers who led us to victory in the DTM, our first season there. Menezes takes the overall number one, Cairoli competitively in second, Tomzik a pretty distant third, and Spengler right behind him. Nearly doubling up RMG and nearly tripling everybody else in points. Yeah, and Carilli not even driving particularly well at all. 4.6. Only Vancouver was slightly worse. 8.3 is a 5.9 on the season for Menezes. Was that uh, 6.4? A little bit better for Cairoli. And once again, we get the duplicate last race in the list here, even though that's not going to happen. Lost money, regardless, due to all of our bonuses being paid out. And there it is. World champion. Menezes wins the title, three wins, and ten podiums in twelve races. That's pretty darn good. We win the team's title as well. And so what next? Well, next we're going endurance racing. And this will be a new experience for me. I've never switched teams before. I know you don't get to keep any of your original stuff. You just, as the principal, you move to the next team and every, everything else goes and stays where it is. I can't just move the Timix Racing to the next group. So I'll be taking the best endurance team that I can find that's in the bottom tier. I don't have any reason to start with a really bad team again and grind my way up like I did in the WTCR. And we'll get into all of that stuff. There's going to be a lot of changes, some of which I'm sure will be new to me as well. So looking forward to that. Till then, thanks for watching. More Motorsport Manager endurance version coming up next.